Hello, my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here. And today I have a nice, relaxing five minute yoga flow down. It's super important to restore the body after a nice hard workout. So let's get into it. All right, first we have some nice relaxing hip circles. Here, I really want you to exaggerate the motions. Take your time, don't go fast. Really just feeling the benefit of the stretch. So all the way to the side and then pushing it back and then the other side, forward and then again. All right, we're gonna be doing 15 seconds one side and then switching it over to the next, all right? Feet hip width apart, hands on your hips, let's go. Push, 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 push. Feeling the stretch, breathing. Remember to push your, um, your shoulders away from your ears. We don't want them scrunched up. Just relax your shoulders. And switch to the other side. Very good. Breathing. And Last one. And upright, very good. Oh, taking a deep breath. You're gonna hear me breathe a lot through this little series because it's super important to deliver oxygen to your body and we also like to count yoga with breaths. So each exercise is gonna be um, five breaths. All right, so first and four or one, we're gonna have Wide legs, wider than hip width apart. Arms are up. We're gonna turn out our right foot, turn it out so it's parallel to the long part of the mat and this back foot, left foot is parallel to the short part of the mat. Arms up, we're gonna twist our torso to face our right foot and then bend the right knee. And we're here for five breaths. If this is too much for you, go ahead and extend the knee and stay right here. If not, go ahead and bend and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Press those shoulders away from your ears. One more breath. And straighten that right leg. Keep your arms up. Bring your right toes back to forward. And we're gonna turn out our left foot. Staying up, twisting to our left, bending the left knee, and we're here for five breaths. Two more. Very good, extend that left knee, bring your toes straight, arms down, and bring it back into a standing stance. Very good. Now we're gonna be taking it to downward dog. At the end of your mat, bring your arms up, breathe in, breathe in, and forward fold, and then we're walking out, walking out to a plank position where our hands are right below our shoulders, and then we're just gonna push our hips up, push our hips up, and come to downward dog. Chin is tucked in, so it creates a straight spine. And the goal is to press our heels to the floor, but not to the point that it hurts, just so it's a nice stretch on your calves. Five breaths. Tummy is nice and tucked in. We don't want a sticking out tummy still have a strong core. Shoulders away from your ears. Last breath. And very good. Now we're coming back to plank position. 
back to plank position and we're going to come down very slowly uh, elbows tucked into your body and come all the way down chest on the mat and from here our hands should be below our shoulders and we're just going to press up and now we are in cobra pose gaze is straight forward we don't want to you know hurt our neck by going all the way back so you can gaze up if you want or forward breathing remembering to push your shoulders away from your ears especially in this position it's very easy to just kind of relax here but we're pushing our shoulder blades down and together last breath very good now we're from here we're pushing our hips back and we're going to bring our hands a little bit closer to our body so our hand is right below our shoulders we're in a tabletop position and what we're going to do now is thread the needle this is really good to stretch your shoulders so I have my right hand here I'm going to push it pull it pull it push put it <laughs> I'm going to put it through um, this gap here of my left hand and knee palm on the floor shoulder on the floor and then I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna enjoy this right here thread the needle five breaths two more and push up with your left arm and bring your right arm back to the mat very good back in the tabletop position give it a second maybe wiggle your shoulders and other side so left through the right hand knee shoulder on the mat look up and feel that shoulder stretch five breaths Two more. Very good, push up, bring your hand back. And from here, we're going to end it with the child's pose, one of the most beneficial poses you can do um, when you're feeling overwhelmed or you just need to relax the body. It's really good for your digestive system because it pushes all your organs together. Um, there's a whole lot of benefit to it. So coming back to our uh, tabletop position, we're going to walk our hands out a little bit and then push our butt back between our feet, all right? Then you're gonna put your head down to the mat or as far as you'd like. If you wanna also benefit your hips and you feel comfortable and able, you can um, open up your hips a little bit more and then sit your bottom between your feet on the floor if you can. That's a really good stretch for your hips. If not, go ahead and return back with your knees back forward. All right, whatever's more comfortable for you. All right, five breaths. It's okay to make sound with your breath. Fill in your lungs. Two more. All right, we're gonna walk our hands back in. If your knees are more separate, go ahead and push them up together. Oh, take a second, maybe close your eyes. Come back to resting position, feel the body restored to a more comfortable state. Maybe if you want to do some arm swings. And now we're going to step up, stand up, shake it out, 
Let's feel the blood flow return, circulation. And we're done. That was it. That was a relaxing, nice five minutes of yoga slow down. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, check out our channel. We have so many more things to show you. And I hope to see you on the next one.